contractors of our unemployment He was sitting in a witness stand We were the judge's wife called up the district attorney You better free that brown eyed man You want your job, you better free that brown eyed man We were flying across the desert in a TWA I saw a woman working Christ the same She can walk in 30 miles and route to bone They better reach a brown eyed handsome man Her destination was a brown eyed handsome man Way back in history, two thousand years, I prayed to ever since the world began. There's been a whole lot of good women shooting tears over a brown eyed handsome man. A lot of trouble with a brown eyed handsome man. Yes, no, I. Couldn't make up her mind between a doctor and a lawyer man Well, the mama told him, darling, go out and find yourself a brown-eyed handsome man That's what you did, it's a brown-eyed handsome man Well, my Lord Venus was so beautiful as she hit the world in the palm of her hand But she lost both her arms in a wrestling match to win a brown-eyed handsome man She fought and won herself a brown-eyed handsome man Well, two, three, the king, but nobody only hit a high fly in the stand Well, around the third, he was a heading for home It was a brown-eyed handsome man The one I gave it was a brown-eyed handsome man Oh, yeah to 
had your little dream. How can I even try? You know that song I mean, and Peter, and this guy here, I hate him, I'm going to chop his fingers off. <laughs> Don't let the sun 
she cried Don't let the sun catch you crying Oh no Oh no Don't take musicians for granted. This guy is phenomenal. I, I couldn't do it without him. I just oh, wish you. we had a drummer. I thought um, it was a bit rubbish. I kept distracting by like, getting distracted by the like, incredibly phallic looking pen. Oh, gee. <laughs> friends on the open mic scenes been really great and everybody's really welcoming and I usually tell poems at the open mic night in the birdcage but I love this open mic and I thought I'd give it a go tonight see how it went down so this first poem is called Driving Past Driving Past fills of gold that couldn't match the light in your hair bluish skies that flew past without the depths of your eyes Yellow flowers litter the roadside, matching the colour of your dress. We laughed at everything and nothing. I have never been so happy. I hope these days would last forever and ever. We're on our way nowhere, with no ETA, with the promise of holding your hand and being so proud just to walk beside you. Making you laugh as I dance, as I drove to our favourite song on our playlist where every song on it was a testament to great times. 
When we are together, I feel alive. And when I hold you, I feel complete. <coughs> Just knowing I share your world instilled for me a belief we can achieve anything. Divinity sent you to me, and I thank a higher power every day. My dream is for you to one day say I do, and look into my brown eyes the way I look into yours. Seasons change, and gold turns to brown, as one day I hope you turn to me. Thank you. This one is about life and how sometimes in life you have a choice, but that choice is not always a good choice, but you have to choose and you have to weigh up the situation and think, well, am I going to do this, am I going to do that? And you just don't know sometimes what the right choice is. You know it's going to be a long day when you go in Tesco toilets. You sit down to do your business. Then fear overtakes you. There's no toilet paper. <laughs> you roll the dice. You have limited options. You can wait till someone comes in and ask them to please ask a cashier for some for you and face the shame. You could use your underpants and flush them. You could use your hands and wash it. Or you could just pull up your trousers and walk fully out of there. Sometimes there's no good option in life. You just have a choice. What did I do? I'll never tell. <laughs> this one's also about life. It's about all the things I just asked and I, all the things I'd like to change if I could. It's called fuck. Fuck people who go to the gym. Fuck people who recycle. Fuck traffic wardens, fucking Nazis. Fuck men who hit women. Fuck nationalism. Fuck margarine. Fuck the beehive. Fuck diets. Fuck the news. Fuck accountability. Fuck doing the accepted thing. Fuck society. Fuck small talk. Fuck responsibility. Fuck racists. Fuck do-gooders. Fuck computers. Fuck Facebook. Fuck extremists. Fuck speed limits. Fuck injustice. Fuck relationships. Fuck inequality. Fuck hypocrites. Fuck the status quo. Fuck blindness. Fuck cancer. Fuck Alzheimer's. Fuck pretense. Love real. Thank you. Got one more. You don't hear me. You don't hear me shaking. You don't hear me screaming. You don't hear me pleading. You don't hear me. You won't hear me leaving. Thank you. That last one was an obvious sort of song by Kate Bush.
Mr. Freeze and Sticky and he is right. I debated for the shot by so the game him medicinal compound. And now he's learning how to fly. Drink a drink to lose the big, 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 had the terrible stammer, he could hardly say a word. So they gave him the little compound. Now he's seen, but never heard. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Mr. compound. Okay. And she nearly ran really nearly when her legs they did receive and so they rubbed on medicinal compound and now they call her millipede. Jennifer Eccles had terrible freckles and the boys all called her name. <laughs> Changed with medicinal compound, and now she joins in all the games. Yeah, oh, drink a drink a drink to the big, the big, the big, the the big, the big, the big, the 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 had a fin inside, and despite her medicinal compound, sadly pearly. Oh. Up to heaven, her soul ascended. All the church bells they did ring. She took with her medicinal compound. Are you going to sing in Scottish accent? <laughs> <laughs> I, I barely manage English. <laughs> well, how do you do, young Willie McBride? Do you mind if I sit here down by your graveside and rest for a while in the warm summer sun? I've been walking all day and I'm nearly done. I see by your gravestone you were only 19 when you joined the Great Fallen in 1916. I hope you died well and I hope you died clean. Oh, your willing McBride, was it slow and obscene? Did they beat the drums slowly? Did they play the fife lowly? Did they sound the death march as they lowered you down? Did the band play the last posting chorus? Did the pipes play the flowers of the forest? Did you leave a wife or a sweetheart behind? In some faithful heart is your memory enshrined. Although you died back in 1916, in that faithful heart 
Are you forever 19? Or are you a stranger without even a name? Enclosed in forever behind the glass frame In an old photograph torn battered and stained And faded to yellow in a brown leather frame Did they beat the drum slowly? Did they play the fife lowly? Did they sound the death march as they lowered you down? Did the band play the last post in chorus? And did the pipes play the flowers of the far forest? The sun now it shines on the green fields of France. There's a warm summer breeze that makes the red poppies dance. And look how the sun shines from under the clouds. There's no gas, no barbed wire, there's no guns firing now. But here in this graveyard it's still no man's land. The countless white crosses stand mute in the sand. To man's blind indifference to his fellow man. <laughs> to a whole generation that were butchered and damned. Did they beat the drum slowly? Did they play the fife lowly? Did they sound the death march? As they lowered you down, did the band play the last post in chorus? Did the pipes play the flowers of the forest? Ah, young Willie McBride, I can't help wonder why. Do those that lie here know why did they die? And did they believe when they answered the call? Did they really believe that this war would end wars? Well, the sorrow, the suffering, the glory, the pain, the killing and dying were all done in vain. For young Willie McBride, it all happened again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Did they beat the drum slowly? Did they play the fife lonely? Did they sound the death march as they lowered you down? Did the band play the last post in chorus. Did the pipes play the flowers of the forest? I've never sang this song. I just decided to do it tonight. But, um, so, what's Yeah. 
So I decided I'd do a couple of political poems. Mm. Hey. Yeah. The, these may well not be to everybody's taste. <laughs> hey, things are just so good. This is cool. Loneliness is a curse for a scouse, and I'm sat within the chaos of my house. In a good mood, not. Turn my back upon sharp knives, paracetamol, and razor blades. <laughs> Away from here, I need to be got. I walk the familiar streets through the maze, where, as always, new things leap to amaze. A pretty lady, comforting an unhappy daughter. Then I enter a quite different quarter, where I am, of course, comfy. It's not the first time I've been here. After all, my domicile is really near. So I near my goal, the tiny tavern, and a stranger asks, Hey man, 
You've got a fan you can spare. I do, Bon. No interest for me, so I make sure I get it clear. Only to be accosted by another stranger after my loose chain. And yet another who thinks I'm a provider of coffee. And a guy committed to telling me his life history. Asking me to gift him my wealth instead of stealing it. Like a Tory. <laughs> 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 There's an old newspaper lying in the gutter, a Tory rag, the Daily Mail, written for the cognoscenti, trained at the uneducated, your average Tory voter. Richie's five pledges, all on course to be met, world beating in design and delivery. Hey, we're off to the glory of empire, it's all under control. World-beating NHS waiting lists. <laughs> world-beating top-line inflation. World-beating economic growth. World-beating market mandering. World-beating control of migration. Wow, why do I equate conservatism with undiluted choice? <laughs> <laughs> If you can write the rules as to how we live, why doesn't anyone ever ask me, hey man, how do you think we should deal with this? <laughs> when election promises are broken almost every day, seems to me none of this is poetry. So Sunak turns up for PNQs, that's Prime Minister's question in the House of Commons, and he never gets the reply that is even remotely related to the thrust of the question. And given that, of course, he's rarely there. Always find something more important to do, while we all struggle with what he's already done. <laughs> this is rude. Mm. Hey, I consider that lying bastard Boris Johnson to be a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Liz Truss speaks for herself, obviously demented, a sad soul, if I'm to be blunt. Brexit was a great idea when we all voted on a chance to change our world based upon a tapestry of right-wing lines. What was it? 350 million quid for the NHS printed upon the side of a bus. Hey, good choice, everyone that voted for that. And I agree with you. If you did, in fact, vote for that, you must now feel like a total twat. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, up, I rarely do a political poem, but to give this one an element of balance, I have to say, Sir Keir Starmer is not the man for me. When Tony Blair shifted Labour to be a champion of capitalism, I find it hard to say that word without spitting. By removing Clause 4 from the Labour Party constitution, he shat upon all the men who were killed in World War II and their mates who came home expecting a world that was different and offered opportunity, rewarded contribution and was fair. Over 99% of the world's wealth is owned by 1% of its population. That's why I don't like Sir Keir Starmer. He's not signed up for us, but I don't blame him. He learned the lesson of John Smith. Challenge the hegemony. Everything that's off him. Use your spare time to get measured for a coffin. Labour Party conference votes overwhelmingly for proportional representation. As opposed to our current system, first past the post, abbreviated to FPTP. Imagine you're running a business and you've got a hundred employees. Wow, you've got a hundred brains all aligned with you. Hey, common purpose, fit in or fuck off. <laughs> we, live in, we live in a place governed by fascists, half of them roughly 
are arguing for this, and half of them are arguing for that. And all of their energy is directed to their own purpose. So, for example, you're making in your business hats that make me look marvellous, by the way. That was on cue! <laughs> <laughs> I don't often drop one. <laughs> that make me look marvellous. Hey, I know that's not hard. And half of your enterprise is totally committed to this, but half of your enterprise is pursuing a different agenda. Hey, seems like a good plan to me. Not. Hi, how you doing? Fancy meeting you. <laughs> hey G <laughs> imagine a world without slavery it is what it is when my family committed to World War II and the best of us turned out to be a sacrifice to maintain the status quo we weren't committed to this there's no place in capitalism for this it's just cash in the register we don't count and if you don't believe me just think how does this work? You can only base your decisions upon lies, unless, like me, you base your arguments upon facts which you will have to research, or rely upon the lies of the capitalists in, for example, the Daily Mail. There are just now about five or so companies who own the whole of our world. Do you think politics is important? Hey, just grow up. As it is just now, we're all fucked. <laughs> That's that one. <laughs> <laughs> this poem is called Waking to a Dream. And almost everything is just how it should be. The birds are singing, rejoicing in whatever it is that they do, masking the clamour of what we do. And as I drift along our flooded roads, making sure to avoid the Environment Agency's gifts, there used to be an occasional dog turd, but who can say where they've come from just now? Suspect the odd one, maybe mine, but who can assert today with any confidence that is the... <coughs> sorry. But who can assert today with any confidence that that is that church's provenance? Not happy with this. Why should I pay the man who shits in what I drink? Done. <laughs> Sam, can, can we have one more? The butterfly one, please, just for me. Please. Um, let me see, what have we got? We've got... Uh... Oh, the little short butterfly. Yeah. Yeah. Please. If I, can, if I can find it. I'm not, is it the one that starts? Yeah. Okay. I did this the other week. Anyway, here we go. You did, yes. I'll do it quick, Sam. I'll do it quick. Go the wind. I'll start that again. Go the wings. A sound that none of us ever hears as they beat, they must make a sound. The last seems beyond the can of human age. But not incapable of imagination, I try to synthesize the sensation of being able to drift and soar and hover and flit before settling upon a certain flower. Please don't ask me what it is, this mystery of blooming, an iridescent puddle of folds and nacreous splendor. Though momentarily paused, I feel myself afloat to drift on the gossamer wings of my butterfly that allow me to enjoy the freedom of the sky. Though completely grounded, my poetry allows me to fly instead in a margot metamorph within my head. I wonder if butterflies feel like this when they're doing what they do, or do they anguish, fret and fuss, wondering what it could be like to be like us. Oh, look at you, a dance upon the fabric of an old man's dream, balanced upon my fragile throne, 
Bliss seems to be a mere thought away. Choice becomes a function of chance. You do music. I do dance. Realise a moment of personal growth. Butterflies must do both. So I soar and hover and flit, a soul adrift upon the bumpy road. What matter the destination, I don't care where I arrive. I'll enjoy the journey whilst I'm alive. Is that okay, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Thank you very much, <laughs> Beside the hood, the 
mess this one up. Yeah. 
tonight. Feels like there were two days missing as I focused on the time. Now, made my way to the kitchen. But I had to stop from the shuckle of what I found. A room full of all my friends dancing around and around. And I thought, hell, new shoes. Bye bye, blues. Hey, I'll put some new shoes on suddenly.
sorry to go live on TikTok. Thanks. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, you
Ray Viraj up on the Gem Bay. Uh, do you want to do some, uh, do you want to do some rapping? Rap, mate, come on. Do you want to do some guitar stuff?